64, 64, 64 Zoo Lane. 64, 64, 64 Zoo Lane. Some like it hot, and some like it chilly, and some like it also lot not a bit silly. Oh my Christ, that's a throwback, Mikey. I know we're still on the intro, but thank you for the 64 months on Twitch. That's... Um, no, Mikey was just sharing a childhood memory that I also remembered. Hold on. Let's see if I can get it up. Way, <laughs> that's what she said. Um, sixty-four Zoo Lane theme song. 64, 64, 64 Zoo Lane. There you go. That's all you're getting because it's it's Disney. Oh no, it's Sea Babies. It's Sea Babies. We're fine. We're fine. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say the litigiousness. Something I had no idea what it says. No, no, lots of it, silly. It's not Disney. Oh, it's, so I think for a little while it was shown on, like, the British Disney Channel when the Disney shows ended at night, which was a big thing. Hello, everybody. I had no idea what to stream today. I was, I've was i literally been sitting since probably about 10.30 going, I don't know what to stream. Because I, I feel like we're at the end of where I'm getting to in um, Tavern Master. I'll probably come back for it, do some stuff of it offline, and then do like one final stream of it. But it's just like one of those things of, I'm just waiting for tech at this point. Uh, Samwise, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. So today I decided, you know what? My my YouTube channel was always built on doing playthroughs. Like, full-on playthroughs. And a playthrough I did ages ago. 54 parts of it. CK... Ow. Um, that was a sharp cough out of nowhere. Holy shit. Jesus. Um, anyway, a series I did ages ago when playing around with the Game of Thrones mod. 54 parts on YouTube. I technically still need to go back and re-monetize that after all the monetization debacle. I think episode one of it's monetized for me. So watch episode one and don't watch any others. Um, Christ, that cough. Um, was... I did a thing with a house called House Ander, which was my own house. Um, and I, I, I started in a place called Maidstone, which is the county capital. It's the same name as the county capital of my home county. Um, so we're going to recreate that. We're going to just relive it in the new version of the mod. Um, currently, I've got two provinces. I'm actually going to start. First thing I'm going to do is give away Flockshade and just sit in Maidstone. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do a full playthrough of this. Pokey, thank you for the follow. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. Welcome aboard. Hello there. Um, a dynasty is born. Ooh. I was a... M ooh, 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 ooh. This will not take long. It is for a summary for your house of birth, and it's not an uh, in-depth... It's not an in-depth history or your ambition. Shall we start with how you obtained your lordship in your past life? So, they have this, like, custom house set up, like, rules thing that we're going to go through here. Um, so, the backstory of Duncan, of what will be Maidstone, is he's essentially, like... He's a steward who's good at combat. So maybe I was a merchant. Or was I a soldier and I earned my deeds uh, on the field? What are the other options? 
Oh, sailor, sea captain. I'm a knowledge seeker. My knowledge aided my liege. Oh, a healer. Oh, that could be a good one. I'm an orphan. My parents' deeds and death brought me a lordship. Oh, orphan could be one. What does that give you? Less general opinion, but diplomacy. Oh, there's more options. I was a steward. Hey, that's actually the most... So you can be a cell sword. Start with more money. Gain a bit of dread. Gain a mercenary sword artifact. That's pretty cool. I was born a fool. I was a hedge wizard. Uh, I'm going to go with steward. It makes the most sense. You originally helped your liege manage their domain. Perhaps you had been in charge of the very castle that is now yours. Regardless, your skill was enough to impress your liege into giving you the title. A dynasty spawn. Some new lords wish to pay tribute to someone who is close to them in the records of the house. Do you have any, anyone you wish to honor as such? Um, yes, a lad who is a close friend. Uh, this man is your best friend. The two of you have been through thick and thin. Uh, yes, a lass who is a close friend. This woman, the two of you have been through together. Uh, a lass who is very close to me. I have no one. <laughs> I have no one. Um... You could be Br so Bron of the Blackwater, a cell sword turn lord. That's true. Uh, a fool is probably the hardest start. Is it? Is it now? Um. Hi, everybody. Nice to catch you stream, even after going five minutes. Felix history. Um, glad you can be here for even five minutes. Is that coming through? Good, it is coming through. Good. Just checking my combined chat is working. Because we are live on both YouTube and Twitch. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, hello. If you're watching on YouTube, hello. If you're watching on both, good for you. S give me your ban bandwidth suckleage and give me views on both. Um, just mute one tab. Tab, not player. Tab, not player. Um, I'm going to have a lass who is a close friend. She's a craven, wrathful, paranoid, brilliant general logistician and comely. Exactly. I'm sorry, I thought you heard someone mention my name, says the woman in question as she enters the room, taking in her surroundings. I cannot help but smile at her timing. The Mesa is quickly is quick to introduce himself and state his purpose for, uh, before turning back to me. Well, this should suffice for a summary, my lord. I wish you the best going forward, says the Mesa with a bow. And so begins the birth of my house. Will your dynasty rise? Or will it fall? Or please stay as my maester. Um, please stay as my maester. Surely the citadel would not mind. Um, this guy's pretty decent. I'm going to take this guy as a maester. Please stay as my maester. Right, first thing I will need to do, I need to make Maidstone my county capital. And I need to give Flockshade away. Because we don't want to... I don't know who the house is meant to be here. I need to unpause, I think. To... It's not my primary title. It's not. It just hasn't caught up yet. Make primary. Okay, there we go. Um, Who am I... Uh, Duncan Strong. Why are the Strongs in my court? Wait, I can probably check. Wait, 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 wait. Flockshade, title history. Biggleston. I want to give the original guy his title. his main title there are there are there are everything is right in the world okay so um maidstone in the ck2 a game of thrones used to be right on the bot like next to river run um and now it's like 
part of a giant area known as the Blackwood it's Blackwood Vale. So we're under Titus of Blackwood Vale. And um, one of the things I want to do, actually, I'm looking at it, it's like, I don't want to th overthrow Titus of Blackwood Vale. He's such a cool liege and such a cool character. I don't really want to get rid of the Blackwoods. I, like, I kind of like them a little bit too much. So we're going to have to try and find somewhere else to make our home eventually, I think, as a, as a main title. Now, one of the other things is, uh, I don't think, does Wayfarer, yeah, Wayfarer's Rest does exist. It might be after the war here where things start to get um, broken up. But maybe, maybe we will have to take over Blackwood Vale. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Braston. That's right. Three Forks isn't made in this start date. So maybe we look to trying to become the Lord of Three Forks. Um, anyway, we've got things to do. So we need to get married. That's a fray. That's a Blackwood. Um, let's double check. Do any of these have... Okay, you've got a lot of young children. You've got a lot of young children. Chambers. Sawicks. Chat, what do you think? Do you think I should marry for... There's going to be three options. Do I marry my best friend? Do I try to find someone with better traits or do I marry for alliances? Um, whilst you guys discuss that, I'm going to go for lifestyle. We are probably going to go for stewardship and I'm going to go wealth. I'm going to go wealth. Um, I'm probably going to go down the avaricious line and just go for fully trying to get gold we are the golden knight mary blackwood's younger sister yeah it's very tempting right i need a duncan strong how strong is so familiar to me Um, yeah, anyway, I need, I'm going to put you in. Oh, there's actually a couple. There is another castle in my area. This is my spy master. Pebble keep. If I get limited ground authority, I can take that directly. Sorry, pebble keep. There we go. Just doing some initial stuff. Uh, also, we have crossbowmen already. Hey, that's nice. I should probably grab some river bows. What's the difference between river bows and bowmen? Just more terrain types. And they're cheaper, actually. That's, that's good. Oh, yeah, we also have bargemen. Who have more screening. So I actually think, looking at our comp, we should probably go for bargemen first. We'll get we'll get a unit of bargemen right away. You know what? I'm gonna get a poll going for you all. Um over on a uh, on uh Twitch, not YouTube. Um
two minutes on that. Okay. That's a cool house. House burned by hammer and sword. These old gods. God, there's a lot of different faiths in Blackwood Vale. I forgot about that. A lot of different faiths. Right. Uh, oh, aspect of the faith. So I'm faith to the seven. My patron aspect right now. I could go with the smith. That I think that would be very on brand. But so would the warrior. I'm, I'm going to go with the smith. I can create an articulate. Can I? not really the one I want. Okay. It's a tie of Blackwood sister and someone of high skill. Right. Okay. So I'm going to quickly look at who's available with high skill. There's a Riverland here who's a genius, 20 year old genius. She is homosexual though. So there's a 17-year-old genius, Westerman, here. Edrina. Yeah, she's looking pretty good. But also, Blackwood's sister is... So the thing is, Blackwood Sister, the only, the only thing I'm... In terms of the roleplay, it's good in the fact that, um, you know, it would be another reason as to why they would have given me the title. But it's bad because she's a sadistic, calm, cynical, flamboyant trickster, which doesn't really mesh personalities well with my honourable, diligent knight of gold. Uh, who is your character and what is he about? So, as per uh, the old law, going back to my CK2 playthrough, he's an honorable knight uh, who was essentially... I put, I'm, I'm going to expand on it right now. He essentially was a tournament knight, but he was also very good uh, as like a steward so it's his whole thing was he was a, his whole shtick was trying to become the best tournament knight but also uh he had a knack for bookkeeping and he actually made it he actually got landed through being um essentially like a reeve Opposites, well, this is true. Opposites do attract. That's true.
All right, chat, you've convinced me we're going to marry um, our liege's sister, uh, Alessane Blackwood. There we go. I do love the RP as well as that lowboard lady that's been an anime. Yeah, the best friend route is also like one of those things, but uh we'll find we'll find her a good husband. Maybe that's what we do now. Find my best friend a good husband. Maybe someone Maybe. Wait, can we match with... I know there's a... Yeah, Danwell here. Can you marry my best friend? And then we can have the house horse... Oh, no, we can't seem to... I sort by maximum range, it's maximum range, 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 range. Either way, I want to find someone for her so that we can keep her family like as a, 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 a bannerman, 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 bannerman. I mean, there's a genius guy here called Lorith. He could be useful. Oh, there's my steward. Yes. Yes, we're going to do this. So... He's go Danwell is going to marry my best friend here. And uh, their house is going to be tied to the history of ours. Um, right. I think we unpause. There's a grand tournament. There is a grand tournament. Uh, pause. I do want to be a tournament knight. I'm going to need a mountaineer, I think. And I'm... My best friend is an irrational craven, so it's like a very protected... Caravan, so I'll, I'll throw her in as my caravan. Wow. Um... You know what? We'll try to hit that on the way back. The inn at the crossroad. After Chlora, we're going to hit. Boom. And then we're going to go. Boom. And then we're going to go. Boom. And then we'll go see the liege. Perhaps. Oh, no, not Old Forge. Done. There we go. Right, off we go. Inn of the Kneeling Man. The Inn of the Kneeling Man was built on, on the location where Torrent Stark, the last king of the north, is said to have knelt. Um, oh, I apparently also visited the Inn of the Crossroads. Also, I'm going to this tournament whilst the uh, War of the Usurper is going on. Making me Admiral of Black Black with Vale? Sure. I'll be Admiral of Black with Vale. A local hero. I'll patronize a local saint. That's totally fine. Danger. Life or death saved. Traversing the hills, minor road, outskirts of Anvil. 
we are suddenly attacked by a swarm of bandit riders out for blood. Another of, uh, set of riders rapidly approaches from a nearby holding, led by Master Orel. I'm very pleasantly surprised by the altruistic demeanor of the local ma uh, master, and I praise the seven who are one that they arrived in time. Oral circles back with a victorious grin on his face. You should come join us for, uh, for some clawmen hospitality at Anvil. Yeah. Shiver is alive. Whilst traveling through Anvil, we run into some Clawman knights who are deeply respectful and apparently huge lovers of poetry. They insist on reciting it at every chance they get. The code of conduct they follow is, has several merits. I can't help but admire it. One of those knights, Freda, is particularly impressive. I'd love to take his tradition home, or I should try to be more, more personally chivalrous. I will try to be more personally chivalrous, I think. And we're at the tournament. Good. So it's a joust, archery, and a melee. Okay. Uh, let's head to the tournament grounds first. Feathered armament. And a feathered entertainment. Go, ill-fated. Go faster. I hear a man's voice echo across the grounds. I look up to see a small thing hurrying through the sky like a little black bolt of lightning. Soon enough, it swoops down towards a finishing line. Bah! You must have cheated. Your bird cannot fly that fast. Just look at her. She's faster than a... She's as fast as... She's as fast as a mountain. My brain didn't work on that sentence. Uh, the angry loser shouts with, uh, with the winner looking smug. Um, do I bet? Double or nothing? Double or nothing. Go again. Oh, I lost the bet. Okay. So how many families, uh, members have you betted so far and had an accident? None. None. None yet. I'm close to qualifying. Oh, yeah, yeah I've just realized. That. Hang on. Have you got... You've got a... Yeah, you've got a Valyria's Steel Sword, so you're... Damn. Prince Rhaegar's off fighting. I like that we're doing this all the while. Oh, my wife is pregnant. Cannot wait to hold the baby in my arms. Um, May the best man win. Did I qualify? I don't know if I qualified. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I didn't qualify for the joust. Gotta get better. Quinton of Withermore. God, the Bane Fort. Like, the, the Westerman armor with the Bane Fort looks like sash. Looks real good. Also, yeah, you've got a Valeria Steel Sword. Oh, God. I live in envy. I live in envy. That's some music. There we go. Um, Merrymaking. Yeah, I'll impress some attendants. That'd be good. Your dancing is impressive. Are you involved in the conflict as a knight to your liege? I don't know if I am. I don't know if my liege is involved in the conflict. He is. I'm currently not because I'm at this grand tournament. I think if I return, I possibly will be made a knight. Because I don't think I'm... Hang on. Yeah, no, I'm currently not listed as a knight, so he might have other knights. Um, Let's go to the tent camp. Sweet words. I'll be surprised if Maron doesn't sweep the floor with other contestants. I hear as I walk around the camp, a group of visitors eating a pot around a pot. And I spot the very Lord of Maron sitting with them. You exaggerate, my friend, he says as he widens his stance. I lock eyes with him and give a subtle nod. If you'll excuse me, he mutters. Is there something you, uh, the Lord wants to discuss? I want a fair fight. Bang, ding, 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 ding. 
I don't think it's a good right time for Zorp's Emporium as much as maybe we do keep Zorp's Emporium on. Yeah, no, we move on to the other songs. Archery contest. I wonder who will win. I did not qualify. I'm just not qualifying. All right, I'm going to place a bet. I want to place a bet on Quentin of Weathermore. I did not qualify for the melee? Why am I even here? I'm just watching now. Maybe this is maybe this is the tournament that inspires me to want to do more tournaments. Maybe that's it. Because I'm currently not qualifying for anything here. Yeah, give me... So why am I not qualifying? Why? What's the... It's just progress. Okay. I might actually qualify to this one. Um, yeah, I'm not going to break the threshold, I don't think. Oh, I'm on Lord Renly's team. Oh, this is Tywin. Wait, wait, wait. This is Tywin Lannister. I'm on... I'm on the team with... Okay, melee sabotage. I vowed myself I would win the contest in this tournament. Um, no, no, no. This is no way to win. We're honourable. Melee. The high ground. I curb my horse after a pa pass at, uh, at an opponent and head back into the fray. As I approach, I see a figure topple from their mount, blindsided by a blow from the opponent behind them. Seemingly unhurt, the series looks around uh, wildly for his mount, but is long gone, spooked by the noise. I draw cl closer still, fixated on his plight. Seated atop my charger, he looks so small, so defenseless. It wouldn't be honourable, um, so an onlooker would say, but there is precious little honour in the fray. We shall settle this fairly on foot. Wait, what is? Whoa, this is Lucerius of Driftmark. Hang on, yes, this is. It's got sea foam. Oh, Christ, there's a lot of good fighters. You should draw, get yourself a knighthood. Oh yes, I'm not knighted. I forgot. That's a freaking. I should be knighted, but uh, yeah, no, that's definitely something I should try to achieve. I'm just gonna. I'm not a knight. I'm gonna. Burning buildings. Amidst the blood and thunder of the melee, it is almost impossible to keep your bearings. A mass of competitors heave and sway, an uncontrollable pile of humanity. Woe uh, betide anyone who should stand in its way. Of course, an unfortunate peasant need only move aside with haste to avoid the brawl. The issue is little pr uh, more pronounced, I consider, when the victim is a building. Uh, the melee has spilled over into Cram's return. Proper, and even now I can see the concessions from both sides ripping off pieces of building facade to use as rudimentary shields or even missiles. I fancy I can even hear the crackling of flames in the middle of the difference. Uh, enough. Truce. Okay, I managed I manage to calm them down. Into the fray. The shadows long loom on the battle uh, wears on. The fray sh uh, shrinking as contestants limp away wheeling my horse i think back to what has transpired so far and where i lost my temper and beat another competitor into a bloody pulp oh my god i did what <laughs> even uh events are clearly coming to a head as i ti as tired battle lines are drawn up once more the opportunity to stamp my mark on the co this contest is now uh i will win a short soldier's victory to me victory perhaps if i draw perhaps if we draw them here maybe i should ride it out Try a soldier's victory. It's our best chance, I think. A stratagem go, it was hardly my finest. Though, I wouldn't describe our plight as utterly disastrous. The enemy team punching through our centre and beginning to 
hair away towards our unprotected camp. We could yet uh, sound the death knell for our chances. It is almost impossible to call which side is close to prevailing. There's still all to play for. I can see the heralds begin to make their way onto the field to signal the conclusion of the events. The end draws near. One more push. Hey! Hey! We won! That's nice. We did it. We won. I was a part of Lord Venley's team, so yes. After many trials and some tribulations, above all else, tr some truly spirited competitions, we have our winners. Lord Renly's team beat Lord Tywin's in the contest. Yeah, screw you, Tywin. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Fantastic. And now we begin the long journey home. And I have a new heir. I have a daughter. Ooh, what are we going to call our daughter? Friends, chat, give me some names. I'm going to start going with some names. Raina? Okay. Raina's a nice name. Raina and... Uh... Oh, I should make sure that the, uh, the Redeem actually is on for Crusader Kings. There it is. Boom. The Call of the Road. Since leaving home nearly half a year ago, I have seen my seen highs and lows, reveled in the winds blowing through my hair, lamented at the rocks and my boots. There are so many places, so many things I have yet to see out there on the open road. I feel the free of the stuffy castle, if only for a little while. The roads are full of pilgrims and wanderers, perhaps among them. Perhaps it is among them that I will find peace of mind. What the duck? <laughs> the day on the road has been fairly calm and nondescript so far. We are somewhere outside Camber, and I close my eyes as my mount bring, uh, brings me forward one solid step at a time. As the wind plays a magnificent... Magnific magnificent oh my Jesus as the wind plays a magnificent melody through the treetops another noise is carried by the breeze and not from our entourage is that quacking I isolate the sound coming from a shrubbery on my right hand side uh that quack uh that's a good open danger run away or lost as we managed to get through the dangerous path in the ground back, we decided to do the rest of the night. As I walk around the encampment, I s uh, suddenly a strange feeling that someone is missing bothers me. I ask around, and everyone agrees on one thing. They don't remember seeing Renella all day. Sorry, my zero... Who has left my zero-year-old daughter? This is worrisome. She's still a child. Whether she gets lost somewhere in the plains. Um, set out a search party. Jesus Christ. The Metal Man. Truly, a stroll through the Fang Foss is a gift from the Seven Who Are One. The tranquility of the place that is uh, suddenly 
The tranquility of this place is suddenly ab abruptly broken by furious grunts of clattering armor. Hark! Get me out of this metal prison. My squire took offense at my manner, even going as far to call me heartless and has, and has abandoned me. Right. Um. Oh, God, you're terrible. Gotta leave him to his fate. So Tom and the Heartless of Bronze Creek can shove off a dual demand. Oh, it's Mark of Pebblekeep, the guy that we stole the castle from. I am Mark of Pebblekeep. I have bested dozens of men in combat. And honestly, all those fights were dull. So here I am on this road looking for someone to better me and someone I can learn from. If you can best me in command, I will become a valuable loyal servant. And so on this day, I demand to meet you in a fair fight. Bench cop will show him how it's done or... Uh, you might be less value after I win. And Mark wins the fight. Everyone remembered the entourage lost opinion of me. Great. Fantastic. That's... So, how do I become a knight? I think by serving my lord, right? I'm not knighted. Um, I would quite like to be a journaler. Actually, no, poet is also good. I sip at my mug of res refined uh, hip hypocris. Eyes scanning over my latest school work, penury and bloodlust. Through conflict brings wrath to all some. Though conflict brings wrath to all some day, our hero lives to enter the fray. Then all shall tremble as he takes field. All fire and fury and thunder wield. Truly, I'm one of the greatest artistic minds of my age. Really, that's great artistry. Writing's fun, but I don't know about rhyming. I'm going to go with journaler for the stress loss. Getting that early is a big win. Uh, 135. We should at least build some farms. There's a hunt. Uh, how goes the war? Stannis Baratheon is leading. What happened to... Robert Baratheon was slain by Rhaegar! Oh! Oh! Eddard's still going. Hoster's still up. John of the Vale is still up. And Stannis is... Con John Connington has remained loyal. Huh. Yeah, I'm just not knightable apparently. Maybe I maybe I can go speak to my liege and he can knight me. Two battles in Dartmoor, like really. Mad King is still, like, going. Oh, boy. Uh, 
What does independent farmlands give me? Development growth, yeah. I think I think you come join me at court. Can I disciplinarian? No. Oh, it's this Dennis, hang on. Yes, I want the Reeve. Reeve Disciplinarian. I need something owl related. Call it the Knight of Torn. Why did that not name? There we go. Reina will become our old gods. Yeah, no, that's that's fine, I think, maybe. You can look after my daughter. My sons will remain with me. Can I just no. Can I offer to be exercised in meditation? Oh mediation, sorry. Trying to make sense of it. Yes, my mediation was successful. Good. So, Rhaegar killed... Rhaegar's depressed. Um, Rhaegar killed... Where's Daenerys? So Rhaegar's... Yeah, Rhaegar's killed... Um, Robert. Nicknamed the Strong. My best friend, have you heard what they call you? My best friend, uh, Elena, said to me, uh, whilst we take in the surroundings, they call you Lord Duncan the Strong. Spectacular, is it not? Hell yes. Do I get, can I train for a tournament, by the way? There must exist a grand tournament you can join. Notify me this when it's available. I'm just not being selected as a commander. Oh, hello. My maester was killed during the raid. Oh, that's 14,000 raiders from Pike just raided my castle oh my god the ironborn we're paying the iron price right now There's nothing that could be done because of the war. Oh, Jesus.
Gosh, I remember us having a meltdown at that training when it was just uh, released and having to do more prowess boost than an, a Re Valyrian sword. Oh, really? Talon of Maidenhead. Oh, that's pretty good. If I win a tawny, I can be martyred. The Omniscient Owl for an accolade could be a good one. Could be a good one. I, I'll make all of these as notes for later for sure. Hold on, I've got to open a. I'm gonna open a document to check it. My economy has absolutely been toileted by these raiders. Yikes. Yeah, I know you I know you can be knighted by participating in battle. At, I'm just not being called into service right now. Try to find a compromise. I failed to find a compromise. Fine. I need to send for a maester. Well, at least you're a physician. Need to seek a worthy successor for you. Gonna grab detailed ledgers. Oh boy, the Dornish are absolutely now smacking. Okay, I think I think the War of the Usurper is uh thinks St I think Stannis boy is uh, going to lose this. Oh no, Titus, what happened to your face? Oh boy. Um, gonna try and reduce my. Oh, and that was a hundred percent there. Damien R. Okay, so what's going to happen to Stannis? Is he just free? Master of words. As a scholar of the diplomatic arts, I'm well aware of the power of an eloquent compliment. Showing admiration for a woman's best qualities is a sure path to her heart. I shall write a letter to Alassane uh, complimenting her. I will compliment her unparalleled, breathtaking, her forgiving nature. <laughs> her rational mind. I will go for her rational mind because she's cynical. Okay. Sentinel of the Nest. Oh, gosh, that's a good one as well. Good namings. Need to start a list. So, emblem. Can I change the scale? Yeah, I can. Good.
granary infestation. Vermin have infested several granaries in the Lodge of a Maidstone, destroying the seeds stored in them, with nothing to plant for next year's crops. The free tenants living there have come to me asking for aid. I command the Septons to give them charity. Take pity on them and open up my grain stores. I have plenty of grain. They should become serfs. Phew, no, uh, command the Septons to give them charity. The dance. I'm attending a dance, not simply because I'm the lord of the castle, but because I want to see my wife there. Uh, she looks resplendent when we finally have a moment uh, uh, to ourselves. I offer my suggestion. Ooh, come join me in the circle for a dance, my lady. I'll walk in the garden right away from me all to provide you with some more food. We've seen how these people dance. Mmm. Walk in the garden away from all this. See if she... Lady Alessane and I walk in the gardens talking about all manner of things. We eventually realized we both had a lost track of time when we returned to the dance that already started winding down. What an evening we had. Hey. My wife. <laughs> right, so we want to try and grab, I think, Lancewood. So, I think that's going to be the first start. I think try to get ourselves a claim on Lancewood. I'm going to be very, very intrigued as to what's going to happen with uh, the the Seven Kingdoms. Because obviously Prince Rhaegar is going to take to the throne, most likely. We're going to keep a... Stannis is just keeping this. What Did Ned get executed? Did Ned... No, it's just status quo. The Mad King has forgiven everybody? My beloved wife. The servants have been uh, sent away. Our bed has been decorated with roses. As Lady Alisane enters our chambers, she smiles doubtfully and joins me without hesitation. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before the seven who are one. Perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. Um, yeah, I'll have her become my lover. Fire roars and drinks him in hand. Elaine is calling out for me for a story. My first thought is the famous Riverland of Folktale, a classic that never fails to delight. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna... Ooh, there's actually no... I'm gonna tell them of my story. Of uh, being at the melee. Sure. Oh, I can host a grand tournament. An odd smell. Waking up uh, in the morning beside uh, my lover, Alisane, I sigh and stretch out uh, languidly, only to catch a glimpse of my beloved wriggling her nose. I open my mouth to inquire further, only to have Alisane recall even further. Listen, Duncan, my love. She starts quickly, as if words were tumbling out of her mouth by accident. This difficult to bring up, but you've not been smelling particularly fresh recently. Uh, we need to find a way to fix this. Yes, I'm not going to be smelly. Duncan's perfume. I yawn tidily as Alisane leads me to excitedly to a nearby town. She had insisted on travelling out as soon as possible, which, in hindsight, is somewhat insulting. But uh, we made our way through the small crowds to find uh, to where a fruit and herb vendor was peddling their wares. Right, Alisane said ex expectantly. Choose from one of these. They'll make... The initial scent to come off fresh and fruity. We're making perfume, of course. Right. Ooh. Is that a fig? <laughs> Perhaps some mint. I like the smell of lemons. Pomegranate would be expensive. What's the difference? I mean, personally, I'm like pomegranate. Totally. Let's go pomegranate. Why not? I don't know if it has any effect. 
After my choice a week ago, I'd almost forgotten about Alessandra's request to fabricate mere fragrance. I only remember when she stopped dead in the street and wheeled around on her heels, dragging me to a spice merchant at the side of the road. These would be perfect, she could. Anything uh, perfect for the, for the heart of the perfume. I look over at the assembled spices and the incense, so many of them foreign and exotic to my eye. What is this, cardamom? Did you say this is called nutmeg? Cinnamon smells wonderful. Frankincense would uh, make a divine scent. Uh, is this cardamom? Pomegranate cardamom? I don't know if those... Did you say this is called nutmeg? <laughs> An odd smell, a strong base. Passing vendor at the edge of the forest is appears to be selling what types of wood? Oh wait, wait, it's this it's ooh, 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 wood wood base. I only managed to have a feeling of rising dread for a second before Alessandra's eyes lights up. She pulls over. Now these would be the exact fit for our purpose. Okay, Christ, I'm just building a perfume from scratch. So we've got pomegranate, nutmeg, resins, oak is a fine wood, sandalwood. Cool these shavings. Old, they smell sweet. Old wood. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll go with uh, the um, sandalwood. Oh, God. Oh, God. One final drop. Despite myself, I've ended up quite enjoying the hunt for perfume ingredients. It is with anticipation that I and the heart uh, then... Blah, blah, blah. It is with some anticipation then that I hear the ven hear of a vendor in a local town who carries several high and rare and coveted items that might interest me. I look over the wares, a few dried reeds, a white powder, and what's this? Some sort of dull, crumbly grey rock? The merchant looks at uh, me expectantly as Alisane regards the wares... Vetvir, Campor, Whale, Ambergris. Uh, none of these look at of any use. Alluring aroma. Having supplied a local artisan with my collected ingredients a few days ago, it was, a, it was delight and trepidation that I unramped the leather binding as the result of the perfume. Inside, a simple bottle containing a mix of colours. At first grey, but when I hold it up to the light, it turns a light silvery grey. I open a crude stopper as my olfactory senses are caressed by the smell. I call of Alice with excited, uh, excitedly, and the two of us marvel at the fragrance waffling around the room. I feel like the richest man in the world. I'll, I'll take a decant. My love can have the bottle. Uh, I feel like the richest man in the world. I've got to keep this perfume for me. Ooh. Prestige, stress gain, attraction, and clergy opinion. Okay. It's not too bad. Don't think lemon's particularly fragrant. That's true. Grand war profiteer. Oh, my freaking priest thinks I'm incestuous with my freaking. <laughs> can have a hook on me. I'm not dealing with that right now. Oh, he speaks old tongue. He's Skagosi. Fine, teach me Skagosi. My control is really low. I, that's, I need to fix that. My wife is pregnant. Good.
I'm actually going to have my wife educate my daughter, I think. Or actually, no, someone who's a decent knight, I think. A traveling bard. <laughs> Take your music elsewhere, vagrant. I can't afford him right now. Did that give you a secret? No, it didn't. Create another accolade. I really want a scoundrel. Marauder. Tactician and idealist. Tactician is martial experience. I have a son. Right. Uh, we need to come up with a name for the son. And also, if anyone in Twitch wants to claim the name for the son, there is a channel point redeemed for that now. Whereas idealist is court modifiers, whereas stalwart is travel safety and army toughness. I think I'd rather have stalwart. And then we're gonna rename this to what did we what did we have? Was something of the nest? It was a good one. Sentinel of the nest. I like that. The sentinel of the nest. That's good RP. I like that. Didn't name so. Okay. Okay, so Anto claimed the air first. Anto, what's the name? Secret hamster, you can have the next child. I need to remember that. Anto, what am I calling my son an air? I am waiting. Some in law variation of Anto. Anthon. <laughs> and Anton. Probably Anton. Antonym. Anthony is too beige. Typing with two keyboards connected to two different devices is hard. I've definitely done that loads of times. Anton Ander. There we go. The Sentinel of the Nest needs a successor. Uh, we'll seek a worthy... We'll seek a worthy successor.
I've got three here with monitors not in front of their respective keyboards. Oh boy, that's interesting. Oh, Alessander Hardtree. You do not have Hardtree. That's a very boring icon for you. But the vigilant minds knows pleasure. Oh, oh, hard tree in that kind of way. Okay. It's a sexy tree. With that in mind, sir. Sir. Yes. Uh. There you go. Hard tree. You're you're getting you're getting in here. Hard tree is a good name, and also just. But it's hard tree as well with the, the just the, the 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 context of that. Like the vigilant mind knows pleasure is just a such an innuendo when your name is hard tree. You're going to get married and be a, a bannerman of my court, for sure. Oh no, I've just realised my best friend's only son died. A nose for profit. Uh... I'm going to try and make a profit. A successful haggle. There we go. Train for tournament. Yes. Where is this tournament? Lord Paxter's tournament. Gotta cost me nine to get there. I'm gonna do it though. We're gonna go. of the arbor oh it's um winelander right tournament grounds beony be a man agreed band of dice as they want to pass me one of them straggling behind the rest uh, makes me pause spinning on my heel i call after the figure they're clad in shapeless ill-fitting armor and their eyes are clearly terrified beneath their helmet something isn't right here stepping forward i rip off the helmet to, 
uh, before they have a chance to react. Standing before me, looking around fur furtively to see if anyone else has noticed, is none other than a woman, dressed as a knight, no less. Planning to compete as a knight, even. Um... Guards, guards, there's a woman in our tournament. I could do with the service of someone like you. What is the... What, what are they... Oh. Or I'll keep your secret. I can't afford them, but I'll keep their secret. I'm I'm honourable. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw them out. She's a blade master. Awesome. I never qualify for these things. Oh, that's a... I can't, I can't. you got to refabricate that claim. I don't have the money right now. Okay. Um, I find favor. So prefer for the upcoming... Uh, little, as I prepare for the upcoming match, I support Lady Arwen of Ocean Road, hailing me and waving a handkerchief around, offering me her favour. Before I can respond, Lady Aero, uh, Alira of Goodgate appears to be holding a handkerchief out for me, insisting I take her favour instead. No. Oh. The widowed oak heart. I will take... I will take the... the uh, I will take Lady Arwen's. Uh, she's not going to romance me, though. I have a lover as my wife. But I'll take the favor. Out of respect and honor for her and her tribulations. Uh, okay. Um... Go to the village. Old as stone. I visit a wine guard is exactly what i needed to relax before the contest i was uh, as i promenade through the street i see local children emulating a battle using sticks as their weapons and yelling uh, some for the honor of my house and multiple ah <laughs> i stopped to admire one of the most prominent buildings proudly staying in the middle of the uh, middle of the square as i inspect it a bit closer however i notice some ancient inscription ha huh. i've studied this ancient language this stone would make a fine uh, wall. Would make fine walls back back home. Or we must keep learning f uh, from them. <sighs> Development progress is good. Prestige is also good. I think I'm gonna go for the prestige. Sadly, no no victory threshold here. To the field. I did not qualify for the melee. By the way, am I planning on reacting to the Chapter 3 announcement? For what? Grand Tournament. Cowed crowd. The crowd leans in as a competitor readies themselves, but for the atmosphere is cut. But the atmosphere is cut through cleanly by a screeching voice. Wilfred bursts onto field. How could you be watching this idle, time-wasting filth? Okay, the septum. 
He rumbles, turning from person to person, spittle flying from his lips as he harangues them. You should be spending less time here and more time worshipping. The sea of people wavers somewhat, uh, a sliver of truth sensed by the words. Before a few brave, angry voices speak out in uh, return, the tides of public opinion washed over Wilfred fer ferociously, but he stands his ground, a booming, booming his screed. Screed is a good word. Sports enthusiast, or the perhaps I should let this blow itself out. Boo! <laughs> Boo religion. Boo. Oh, my, my leash is here. Oh, Prince Rhaegar of Dragonstone is also here. No wonder I'm not making it into these tournaments. People like freaking Rhaegar Targaryen is here. It's a board game. Yay. I'm... Just not gonna qualify for anything. Okay, we need to we need to better ourselves. I'm gonna put a bet on board game. Uh, Rhaegar is a very safe bet. There goes my bet. Really? He lost out to Darren... Oh, probably Cheetah. Fine contest. Oh, the Mad King died. Is now Prince King Rhaegar. Died of heart failure. The Mad King died of a heart attack. But Lord Rhaegar uh, is crowned at this tournament, apparently. My lord, a letter marked with the seal of House Targaryen has arrived from Dragonstone. Ravens uh, spread grievous tidings across the realm. The messenger gives a quick bow and hands me a letter to pursue. King Aerys has died of heart failure. King Rhaegar Targaryen has been proclaimed the rightful success of the Seven Kingdoms. Okay. Now to see what happens. Rhaegar is married, uh, married to the sister from Dawn. Yeah, Rhaegar's still married to Elia. Of Doran. Yes. Oberyn's sister, yeah. Doran the trickster, yes. Uh... Oh, a, a beautiful Westerman woman has... No, I'm, I will not give my love so freely. And my wife is pregnant. Um, danger, flawed fare. Elaine is in charge of our food supplies and sheepishly revealed our provisions are now all but useless, having been poorly stored. Uh, nature will provide for us. There's a 3% chance I die. Or the the locals around here must have something. Definitely not doing the chance of death because I am the kind of person to get a three percent outcome. Oh, it's just a bit of mold. It's fine. How is this mod now? I tried it out when it launched for CK3 bare bones compared to the CK2 version. It's decent. Um. The CK2 version still has loads more, but that's because CK2 in general has loads more than 
uh, CK3. Um, I definitely feel I definitely feel when tours and tournaments came out, it really made this feel more. Sure, I'll try to become. I oh, I know I still can't rhyme. Okay, it's like sure I'll try to become a poet again. Oh no, my wife is no longer with child. That's sad. Right. Any any new start dates? Not yet. I gain the trait loyal. Ooh, a loving lock. Yes, I will I will wear it till I die. Tours and Tomons wrecked a lot of total conversion mods. Uh, so even though it's always quite interesting, it's it's wrecking us every time. That's true, but every every Paradox DLC will do that to the mod scene, unless there's a uh, a mod program even actually even if there is an early access mod program i know we have one on hoy um it's still it, not everyone gets on first day release arms against tyranny was actually one of the first where we had a lot of our total conversions ready on day one um it is my domain duncan the golden owl and uh, essentially yes learn language amorous misunderstanding uh who are you and so the Lord discussed breakfast practice for tax collectors with the council. Means, means whilst the uh, proceeded to, I, I look up startled from an old book, only to notice a flush nailer leaning over me. Oh my, is that old you are speaking, she says? You know, old is the language of love. And if I did not uh, mishear you, you just called me a winesome lionheart, you angel, you. Um... No, no, this is a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. <gasps> Tours was worse because they were reordering a lot of things around, to be fair. Persia was okay compared to it. Titus has declared war on Lord Halman. Titus, why? Are, what, what's the war over? Blackwood Vale claim on the Lordship of Ramsford. Oh, 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 I'm fighting. Okay, um, I'm gonna. I know we're we're not finished with Avaricious, but for my own safety, I'm gonna go Chivalry Focus for a little bit because I think I'm in battle here. My wife is pregnant. Oh, wow, he's actually built Trebs as well. Good for you. Oh, my wife is no longer pregnant again. That's so sad. She's also, her nickname's The White Raven. God, that's cool. <laughs> okay, marrying Lady Alisane was a really cool thing. Oh, Mark. Mark of Pebble Keep. He's just ruined my language notes. <sighs> hey, Adam. Hoping the Night's Watch gets some content in the next. It was a little like last, uh, just the building tool with nothing to do. Uh, switch my Castilian to Marshall. That's a thing. Give me martial expertise. Alexander Hardtree. Bo. 
Road family. <laughs> yeah. I know there was an issue with one of the Night's Watch CPs that got fixed now. We can wreck wildlings that grew too large. But we're unlikely to add anything that contradicts the law. That's fair. <laughs> Oof, this is going to be a big battle, I think. My lord is running because he is... Wow, we won this even though we've got less troops. I gained Aspiring Blade Master. Hello! Oh, hell yeah. Will someone now knight me? <laughs> that 20% extra XP, yeah, that will make all the difference considering I'm not a... Um... Marine swore to avenge the death of Lord Halman who was slain in battle by you. I killed Lord Halman of Fair Market? <laughs> oh no! <gasps> Oh, I've killed quite a few people. Oh, boy. Go on now seems to be, very, be a very applicable name for this character. Yeah. However, he does have the nickname The Strong, which is... Um, I'm here for. I'm gonna teach my son of honor. That's my boy. Oh, we got fucked up. Um, maybe I offer my troops to my lord directly. Offer to join war. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna directly help our brother-in-law. Right, give me stalwart leader. Reduce the risk of commanding armies. Also, aspiring blade master. Um, hey, Nathaniel. Coming in to save the day, save the war. Protect Raven Tree. Protect Raven Tree Hall. Protect our Lord. As a honor honorable bannerman of House Blackwood. I think we've kind of screwed our chances of being um, knighted at the, by, through battle by our lord because we're not in his army anymore. But uh, I, I, I think the benefits have outweighed like 
you know, got a good, got to get a, gonna get a good uh, standing with him. I wonder now if we can, when his troops are back. Oh gosh, my wife is no longer preggers. That's, uh... Annoying. God, that's, what, three in a row? Right. Hey, Eldra. Who's Cersei married to? That's a good question. Benedict Broom. Some lowly guy. And so Jamie Lannister is a eunuch of the Night's Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, we're now Jasper. Aaron. Um, Eddard the Heathen died of what is this? Oh, an infected eye wound. Who the heck stabbed him in the head? Ricard is wait, so Benjamin is married to Lady Adara of Carhold, so the cast arcs. Uh Lord Ricard of the North is a lazy boy. And there's Eckard, who's his brother. Very different timeline we were in, friends. Viserys Targaryen has been given a holding in the north. No, Jon Snow, because of the fact Rob lost. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Stannis is still going. Renly is married to a Karen. Door on the tricks. That mace is still going. There's now Lady Laura of the Reach. Ty Tyrion is in charge of the Westerlands. Who's had a son named Derek. Well, it seems like this is a good timeline for Tyrion, I guess. <laughs> The series probably got the county because it was revoked, and then Ned probs the asked for vassalage. Yeah, most likely. There's a grand tournament. Oh no, I can host one. Damn it! Stop telling me that I can host one. I want to go to them. Start over. Going to learn that language. Can I convince my leash? How is it you travel to your liege again?
Oh no, it's only when they're a king can I do that, right? Mmm, annoying. We're 33 already, oof. I want to go find, make a duchy somewhere. Three Forks is, feels like the, the, the correct place. I need to try and levy my lord to go for this. I wanted to push my claim. Uh, traveling Maester can come in. I'm gonna transcate scribe the old battle tone. Bloody daughter's gluttonous. Who's educating her? Her mother? No, this knight. Sandor. Annoying. Alright, uh, how long till I can go back to wealth focus? I don't know. Hey, I've learnt the old language. The Mighty Pen. Picking up a, uh, the padded sword from a sparring uh, match with my son Anton, I notice a tattered journal on the sideboard. From the cover, it seems to contain exercises and best practices pertaining to the martial arts. Anton glasses in my direction. Oh, that thing? I mostly read that for the illustrations. You can borrow it. My seven-year-old son is... We should try it out. Yeah. I'll teach him. So I'll have him study a language. One of my knights needs a worthy successor. Oh, because he doesn't serve as a captain. That's right. Um, I should force him to serve as a captain. And therefore, he can be set up to be that. I wouldn't be able to call him in, is the thing, uh, Mike, because he's my liege. I'm pretty sure I can't ask my liege to come in as, a, as an ally in a war. I could be wrong. The High Scepter is too poor to give me money. Bloody High Septum.
get Vance as a potential ally. Do it. We're going to do that. And we're going to call in the dances. It is honorable if I lead. Vance of Wayfarer's Rest. Need to help me. Who is this Blackwood? The right. It's thingies aren't. Oh, they are right next to me. Stars ban. I have another son. Right. This one was Secret Hamster, if I was correct. Yeah, if I'm correct, I believe this will be Secret Hamster. You can re you can name Huray. Oh, uh, Huray! <laughs> he is a hail intelligence son. Secret Hamster, if you're around. Or a fin. His name's Orphan. <laughs> Zorp support and being in the background right now is brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty on point. Orphananda. May you be strong and wise. Someone's plotting to kill my prisoner. Okay, they're my my, my prisoner. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, ba -dum. The Hanged Man. The fighting has been thick in the Riverlands, as it always is when war ranges. While riding through a pillage hamlet, our column approaches the crest of a hill, and a gruesome sight twists into view. A gnarled tree with naked branches jutting from its crown. Dangling from these cruel fingers are corpses of the village's populace swaying in the breeze like abandoned marionettes. The grim atmosphere is pierced by a shrill cry. I spur my horse and gallop to the foot of the tree where I discover the source of the wailing. The babe looks up at me swaddled in muck and gore. His mother grasped by the noose mere feet above him. Bloats. Oh God, Jesus Christ. How could it have possibly survived? Leave it, my lord. Osmond. It's a bad omen. Better a feast for the crows. Can't leave a child out here. It's common for men of war to return with bastards. I'll be considered his father. Ooh. Do we take the child to court? And they join court as a lowborn. Do we take it as a bastard? Or do we leave it to die? I think that's off the card for me. Especially as an honourable man. It's just...
I can't. I need to do. So, do, do we take him in as a bastard of ours, or do we just take him in? Is the question? Are we? Are we? I'm kind of here for the bastard group. As your son, I don't want another brother. Take him in, raise him to nobility, and have another line of bannermen. I like that. I'll spend the because one one is just like <laughs> for some reason it's better in terms of prestige for me to come back with a bastard. Uh, we can't leave a child out here. We're gonna educate this child. Ourself. What are Lord Duncan's traits? Uh, Lord Duncan the Strong currently is honorable and diligent. He's a fortune builder, aspiring blade master, which we got from serving in battle, journaler, loyal, intelligent, hale, skilled fighter, or slaughter and traveler. Decision made. Sorry, I think YouTube is slightly behind, um, it seems, compared to Twitch chat. All right, let's try to teach Anton to be diligent. Good lad. Good lad. Never back down. Can I switch this yet? I can. Go back to the income focus. Oh, Anton can definitely keep the strong sense of justice. I am the knight. I believe the original Duncan Ander in the original playthrough became Duncan the Just. Or one of his offspring was the Just, I can't remember, so that's, that's fitting. Boom. We now have Lancewood. We're slowly going to take the lands of House Brastonham as well. Uh, I need a new chancellor. <laughs> Ronald of Biggle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have a Master Ronald of Biggle. <laughs> well, Master Ronald of Biggle, congratulations. You're now my diplomat. You're my chancellor. I think I'm going to take the Pond Mill guy, however. Um, I need probably blacksmiths. In Maidstone. And I need you to be improving our control in Lancewood. Good. Freeman's fortune. Cynthia, a free tenant renting some land in Lancewood, has poured an exceptional harvest this season due to her meticulous planning. She wishes to use some of her profits uh, to purchase a piece of my estate uh, so she can build upon her success and grow more crops next year. We 
get farming, woman. You're going to be married to someone in my court. The Sixth Blackfriar Rebellion. Grave news from Westeros. King Aegon, a long forgotten sign of the treacherous House Blackfriars, landed in the etchings. Uh, with him at the head of a host of 10,000 men under the command of Harry. Harry Strickland. A absolute bear of a man. Um, this could be advantageous. Okay. So the realms are at war once more. There's now Aegon Blackfry. Uh, is beating up the Rhaegar. Is beating up Rhaegar. Who's currently the Paramount of Dragons? So Aegon the Beautiful. Prince Aegon the Beautiful. Rhaegar's son is Prince Aegon the Beautiful, who's married to his sister. Targaryens, man. Right, what's my lord done? Currently not decided. Riverlands is staying out of it, I think. I don't know if this is a thing, but can you make that lowborn kid from the tree a cadet house of Ander? Uh, if he was a bastard, they could have... And I legitimized him, and then he became a ruler. He could have himself become a cadet house, but I can't force a cadet house from someone. No, without console commands. I could have console commanded it. But, um... No, once he's a lowborn, he's a lowborn. Oh, speaking of, actually, shoot, we need to... I'm gonna offer the Titus the Brave of Blackwood Vale, my son, as a squire. We're happy to accept your proposal squiring arrangement. Yes. Go, go, go squire for your uncle, young Anton. Reyna has come of age. She turned out okay. She likes food a little too much, but who doesn't? Oh, Alassane, you've been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child? What should we call you? Right, I need another name. I need another name. Tracy. Tracy is a very modern name. <laughs> that makes me think of Tracy Turnblad. All of a sudden, Duncan Ander reminds me of Gregor Forrester. Gregor the Good and Duncan the Strong. You know, Dulcia. Dulcia is an interesting name. I'm going to hold with that for a moment. Helga. Nice curry. Hello. And uh, no one's got an air in the line, so currently I'm going to keep with Dulcia. I'm going to go with Dulcia. Our economy is. Oof. Lord Titos is being attacked by Gendry. Gendry Terek. What is this war? Oh, it's an internal liberty war. Oh, and one of the Blackwoods is against... Oh, hang on. Civil war, everybody. The ruthless, vengeful, authoritative Lord Gendry of Mudgrave is leading a liberty war. Oh, I'm 
Biggleston as well has turned against. Okay. Do we pledge our swords directly or do we just fight in this? That's the real question. I don't know where my Lord's troops are. It's not raised them. Oh, they're there. As a man of honor and bravery, I think you're right. Offer to join the Liberty War directly. Ah! Oh. Titos has heeded many of your calls to war, proving that uh, a valuable alliance has been formed. We are, like, fully friends. We are fully friends now. I would not turn on you in this hour of... Oh, my God, they're coming for me. <laughs> we need to regroup. We need to regroup. I probably should have risen my troops over here, which is what I think my lord did. Oh god, they are hunting me down. I'll meet you at the castle, so attached to the army. Oh yeah, his hard tree had kids. Hard tree has a son as well. I don't know if sieging right now is the right move. Oh, no, it is, because they've got more troops. How have they got even more troops? They called in allies. No, I think I think they've just hired mercs, perhaps? So Mudgrave's the main... of Torn needs a... Uh... Does your courtier ha of how strong have kids? Oh, that's a good... Duncan Strong does have a bastard. Let's make sure he marries off. Is it Maya? Maya? Maya Stone? Is this Robbie, Bobby B's bastard? Hello. Come to my court. Get the Strongs as well. Can I call in my Alice? No, it's not my war. Although House Vance would be suit pretty useful here. No, it's because I am this guy's only ally. <laughs> it's the problem. He needs the ally. It's his war. We are winning right now because they're taking a lot of attrition in... Uh, where is this? Horses Halt. Whilst we are managing to siege down Mudgrave. Yeah, I'm going to try and take... I'm going to become the... Try and become the Lord of Three Forks. That's going to be my... 
I think that's going to be my goal. Because I don't... I We've got to get ourselves out from under the Blackwoods at some point. But I, I we are, like, tied to them now that I want to... You know. So, my beautiful blonde character. <laughs> the seed is strong with the Blackwoods, clearly. Lily Horset. You need a matrilineal marriage of some sort. Because I want House Horset as well to be another one of my banner bannered houses. Mm -hmm. You're eight. I could be, I could ask for the Duchy of Giants Lance. Have they been excommunicated? Oh, because they're a murderer. Overthrow the Wayne Woods there. Also, Donnelly is a recharge of the veil? As in the Donnelly, yeah, the lot Donnelly's a Donner down. What happened to the Aaron's? It actually went to uh, a lesser giant's lance as well. Oh, Jasper died at 12 from wounds. There's only five living Aaron's now. Whose husband Denley is the Legion of Giants Lance? Oh, I can't. I can't take Giants Lance away from them. No, I gotta keep the Aaron's around. I've beaten up the Aaron's in too many of my campaigns. <laughs> let's let's not continue down the same path. Um, sins of a mother. Loud scream cuts through the bustle of the courtyard. <sighs> Hated fod... Fop doodle? I am the son of Marine, and the time has come for you to answer for your vile misdeeds. Face me, or the world will know that you are unwilling to defend your own honor. As I turn around, I am met by the burning eyes of a man, consumed by the desire to defend the honor of his mother. My guards are still nearby. I, I could have this hothead thrown out and humiliated and impotent. The quarrel is with your mother. Who is your mother? My rival. Oh. I accept the challenge. Damon and I stuck around each other, weighing our options. He hefts a fearsome sword while I grip my own mace tightly. Oh, I'm a mace user. Uh, this deadly weapon feels cool and weighty in my grasp. As I fight, as this fight might only be till first blood, that doesn't ease my nerves. A blow from my mace and a kick to the guts. Attack first, uh, attack hard. On guard. But the best you've got, you can't even hit me. No, attack first, attack hard. Let's go. Lightning assault. Pulling all my strength into my first strike, I leap forward uh, uh, for da I, I leap straight for Damon, lifting my mace high and crush it into a crushing thwack that sends him reeling. For the father above and the warrior suffer blasphemer, shrieks Damon, hefting uh, his sword to the heavens. My form is good with only small errors. Damon's stance is formidable. I cannot be more than one well-placed strike away from victory. Strike. Harry 
riposte. I leap into action, launching a flurry of rapid thumps, driving myself hard against Damon's guard, wearing him down with an egg. Uh, each expertly timed strike. Damon suddenly shifts direction, throwing himself sideways uh, and into a powerful cleave that I'm just able, barely able to dodge. My form is good with only small areas. His stance is formidable. This will work just like the legends, right? Legendary technique. Try to copy a famous move from your favorite book. High likelihood of success, low chance of industry. <laughs> injury. Defending, defeating my opponent is as easy as retelling a story. Howling his devotion to the seven who are one, Damon lets his attention stray entirely from our bout. With a quick shrug to acknowledge his absurd arrogance, I step forward and kick him squarely in the groin. <laughs> that was the move of legends? A kick to the dick? Uh, Damon shouted prayers become squeak. Uh, Damon shouted prayer becomes a squeak scream, and he collapses in a pile of flailing limbs. The resulted pile of angry man half hisses, half shrieks, reprimands for my blasphemy, but I simply rest my mace next to his face and wait for the seven who are one to smite me down. Divine justice never quite comes, but a furious yield certainly does. I am victorious. Duel of the snake and the owl. What? Who is this woman? I didn't know that I had... Why have I got so many rivals? I knew I had Mark. I knew Mark of Pebblekeep was a, a rival. How did I piss off Damon Page and Marianne here? Oh, because I, I killed the house Page guy in combat. She was the wife. Damon Page, who just went for me, is the son of the guy I killed in battle. Right. Right, yes. Brownery infestations. Uh we'll make we'll make the uh, we'll make the, the septum pay for it again. There's not been many tournaments. Wow, that's a lot to go to university. Oh, Walter Went is still going. Good for you, Walter. Hasn't been struck down by any ghosts yet. Greetings, my amicable vassal. Please accept this humble gift. Oh. Oh. Thank you. You're, you're still fighting against the black fries. Okay. Foxes Pebblewood. Interesting. Small game sighting. There are some real weird alliances in this black fry rebellion. I will say though, that red black fry armor, holy hell is that cool. Black fryer, sorry. Black fryer. Oh, look, this is, look at, oh, poof, poof. It's cool. It's very cool. It's very cool. It's... They've actually got so many less men. I've never seen Blackfire come back unless Bobby B loses. I think I have. But 
months. It was after the series had come back um, and taken over from the Baratheons. Ba -da, ba -da -ba. Right, I need someone to start getting me a claim, like, on the... Is this the Glains? The Gains? The Lordship of Gains! <laughs> Bow down to me, I am the Lord of Gains. make very little money from Lancewood. I think I'm going to build a manor house first and then the field. Oh god, one of Lord Titus's sons was murdered. Other one drowned. His eldest is of age and not a knight. Married to a Frey. Alex Frey. Also, someone else. Another map being drawn. Who is trying to murder me? Oh, probably my rivals. How is that young lad doing? He wants to be... He's pensive. The Pink Maiden Divergence. Right, I think it's time to raise this uh, Justin kid to nobility. Strong son. Never wanting, always triumphant. Oh, I like that, but I don't like the the sigil. So we're going to do a little bit of LARPing. So we have a grey symbol. Let's let's have him utilize that in his colors. There is a veil heraldry that is an owl with swords.
Maybe Justin will be your future re -evacuate. That's what I'm thinking. Silvered out, rescued from the nest of the blood and gore by the golden now. Well, that's why I was thinking of, can I go for something that's owl related, but like... So maybe like, or bird of prey related. So maybe call it like strong kite instead of strong sun. Or Strig. Strong Strig. The Strig is the Latin, like, the order. What's going on? Kingdom Phylum class order. The order for owls. I think we're going to go with that. And he's a diligent kid. He's the same age as Orphim. Motto in keeping with the owl theme, silent but deadly. It's a good name. Never wanting, always triumphant is a pretty, pretty cool name. Oh, train for a tournament, please. I gained wounded, and it was instantly treated. Okay. <laughs> Lord Tyrion the Imps got a grand tournament. Let's go. We're going. We're going to go to this grand tournament. My daughter is a fornicator. Hmm. I'm not exposing her. God damn it, Raina. Okay, I'm arrived at the tournament. Uh, I would like to gain... This is a different tournament ground like middle texture does that change with how much they've spent on the tournament i have 35 i'm okay i have enough progress to qualify for the tournament secession to the iron throne <gasps> rhaegar was killed rhaegar was slain in battle by lord leo of the golden tooth in a trial by combat oh Wait, 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 wait. The war was over, and then Lord Leo, in a trial by combat to to free him from treachery, killed Rhaegar Targaryen, the White Flame. Now, King Aegon the Beautiful has, has, uh, has taken to the Iron Throne. Oh, my God. Turn of events. Turn of events, friends. <clears throat> okay, I am. Um, oh, I'm gonna be fighting Lord Balan of the Iron Isles. Sorry, what? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Contestants march into the field. Uh, I am ready. No, I won't cheat. Dual quarterfinals fighting pattern. I'm not. I lightning winds. Uh, Stirs the air around us. Balan approaches me, sword ready, looking for any advantage. As a good duelist does. No uneven ground, no low sun behind him, no weakness in the stance. I ready myself to fight fairly. A shout from the crowd, some fool falling off a stall, no doubt. Causes brought Balan to pause. He refocuses on me twitchily. It is said some need to be free of distractions to fight. Perhaps Balan's one such man. Fifty-three percent chance. I think I'm gonna have to take it. Nope. Martial prowess. What are you scared? Wait, what's the? 
68% chance, 67% chance, 55%. What, are you scared? Oh, I won. Oh, I won. Yes. I knocked Balan Greyjoy out. I think that in itself is like the first victory in our... Right, who am I now? House Warwick. That's such a cool house, Sigil. <laughs> Lord Morgan of Timber's Wedge. 29 prowess. Okay, I can do this. By any means, I swing and swing, battering away Morgan's guard. A hefty shoulder push sends him skidding backwards, legs akimbo. I see a golden opportunity. Acting entirely on instinct, I swing my leg through the long arc, foot thundering into his groin with a heavy thud. Morgan lets out a cry somewhere between a gasp, a cough, and a groan. Trembling fingers barely grasp the weapon as his eyes immediately cross, part, uh, cross with pain. Within seconds, he's doubled over, barely able to stand. Low blower for 10 years. Oh, that's so not honorable. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Kicked him at the cock. Remember my training? What are you scared? What? How good's my diplomacy? It's not that good, but it's apparently better than... It's definitely better than my intrigue and my marshals, so... Um, what are you scared? No, no, he's clearly not. I've been defeated. Third. I will take third. Let's see how the final goes. Good. The person who beat the guy... Okay, the, the guy who won is a 71-year-old? What a legend. Harold Rogers. Right, what is the next? Joust. Go to the Arsene Quarter. Weaponsmith, worthy Icker. A noble's blood, Eon's voice rings out, startling me. I blink through the gloom where stands a hungrily brandish where he stands hungrily brandishing a glinting dagger. All I need is the smallest splash of noble's blood to quench this blade. A sword will be the finest weapon ever made. Songs will be sung of me. He edges closer, a mad glint flickering in his eyes. It'll be all yours, Lord. I just need one uh the one I just, need, yeah, I just need to be the one to forge it. Permit me that, and both our names will be remembered forever. I look down at my arm. What? Do... Gain a blooded blade artifact. Doesn't it have a, a negative? Sullied blade and blooded blade. What is a sullied blade? Yeah, sullied blade. Okay, that's a negative one. Okay. I clutch a clean rag in my forearm and to stem the flow as the fires, uh, Eon fires and hammers excitedly. By the time our bloodletting aims to uh, realize the rag is nearly soaked through, but the flow itself has, has slowed and the wound co uh, congealed. The sword is revered, uh, reverently deposited on the table. It, it is, in a word, ugly. Dried blood clothes the length of the blade and the weight of the weapon seems to shift by the moment. Brittle. Uh, it's perfect. Brittle steel is latched, layered with patchy swells. Uh, I'll take it. Negative two prowess. Yo, Midge, I'm hoping for uh, hopping in for a few a new viewer here. I've been watching your Divinity Original Sin 2 co-op campaign recently. I'm really enjoying it. Got any favorites you've done that I should check out after that one is? 
done. Um, if you're a fan of the if you're a fan of the Divinity Original Sin uh, playthrough, I highly recommend actually going over to the second channel, which is Modj, and checking out the new Baldur's Gate playthrough. Um, actually, first parts one through five are on here, but there's also a Mega Cut video on the second channel in the same playlist. Um, and yeah, all the parts are coming out there slowly. It's a playthrough that I'm doing live here, so if you can't wait for the video, they cut down on it, uh, fun edited videos. Uh, you can check them out here, like unedited and all my squirmings and pain. Um, or you can check out the ed edited content there. But um, that's, 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 if you like that kind of content, that would be the one to go for, I think. Okay. Saying goodbye. Wait, no, my best friend died? Oh no, Elaine Horset. The person that started this campaign with me. She was a constant companion. Honestly, Zorp's Emporium in the background. Bad time, Zorp. Elaine was a constant companion and confidant. And to have her ripped uh, from my life feels like a mortal wound from which I will never recover. My hands clasped a note she gave me, the last note she will ever give me. I realize bitterly. I try to read it, but all I can do is move away from my face. That the precious words contained within are not washed away by my tears. Though the crowd of many mourners, uh, though there is a crowd of many mourners around me, I've never felt so alone. I will never forget this day. You experience some level of catharsis. A new caravan master. Um, I'll take Dennis. Damn. Um, I need to make sure her daughter... is well cared for. Joust begins. Am I in this joust? Did I make it to the joust? Don't think I did. I'm still wounded. No, but Titus, my friend, uh, and liege was there. Philip of Rundridge of House Plum was uh, successful. I want a fair fight. It's archery next, I believe. I'm on course to qualify for the archery. Oh, very good. I'm going to focus on the match. I'm going to rebuff both of them. The only reason I took a thingy last time is... Uh, oh, Lord Gregor, the mountain that rides is in the archery. Hello, what? I'm apparently the favoured contestant here. Hello. It's time to show the world my skill. Archery. Arrow dynamics. The banners flutter and roil around as I step up to take my shot, battered by the winds. Dust swirls, palm hairs, and knock the arrow to bow. The wind, the sour wind making my eyes water. I wait for it to subside. I continue waiting. I don't think it's going to stop. Maybe if I shoot across the wind? 100% um, score of getting increasing modelly. Oh, yeah. Maybe if I shoot across the wind? You hit the target. I flick the bowstring a few times, limbering up and take a deep breath. Mastering all my control, I draw my bow into the air and slowly lowering it uh, with the target. As soon as the arrow leaves my fingertips, I intuitively feel the shot is a good one. Moments later, a satisfying ping confirms it. I've hit the target's nail right on its head. So, center of the target. Yes. 
archery striking to dusk begins to draw slow but steadily as the competition continues the snapping of strings at a staccato rhythm I lean on my bow, considering the path this contest has taken me thus far, such as when I sent a shot, a shot right into the centre of the target. The competition begins to draw to close, as arrows continue to fly into and past the butts. If I am to make a, any impact on the proceedings here, I must act now. Okay, I am one with my bow, is a 65%. Procuring a finer arrow would give me an edge. With this wind trajectory... Trajectory should be uh, sh uh, trajectory should suffice. Well, my final shot will be as normal as I think. No, let's go trajectory. Let's go with a seventy-one percent chance. One last knock. I am winning. Victory is so close. Am I going to win this? No. No. How did I lose? I came second. Second, I suppose I can't complain. Lord Franklin of Dartmoor won in. Damn it. I thought I was going to win. Taking off my gauntlets might help. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh, no, I'm not doing the drinking. Don't think I'm going to be part of the board game. Hey, at least I came second somewhere. Apparently I'm good as an archer. Was it another woman? Sharis. You know what? I could do with services of a woman like you. Join my court. Oh, I am in the board game contest. Now, apparently, I'm a th the favoured contestant. Uh, cheap tricks are beneath me. Learning and martial. Learning and diplomacy. Learning and intrigue. Learning. Learning and diplomacy, I think. No, I'm not taking milk of the poppy. I will... This is my duty. This is my duty. End game. Yay! Okay, I won a bout. I've won a bout. Ball came. Tabletop tantrum. The table flits with an almighty thwack, sending the chess pieces flying. Oliver's mood turned suddenly several moves ago as he realized a simple mistake uh, had all but decided the game in my favor. You know, you could have just succeeded. Or I can... My score increases slightly. I gain some more stress. But uh, I can go back a few moves. <laughs> you know what? I'll go back a few moves. Still knock you out. So I'm in the final. <laughs> Ball game, brawn over brains. Um, it would appear my grand strategy is falling apart. Lewis is gaining ground fast. If this were a matter of warfare, I would be considering a merciful surrender. I can feel my insides boil with rage and my fists clenched tighten uh, enough that they are fit for bleeding. As he reaches for his playing piece, his smug eyes meet with mine as and his face melts in a look of shock and dread. Perhaps this is the moment to intimidate him from making the next move. 99% chance of touch that piece and I'll break your fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, I think I lost at the end. I did. I keep coming second. Damn it. Two second places. Oh, well, we return home. I need to do something about my stress. Ooh, 
Oh, I've got a lot of money to spend, actually. Let's let's build that manor house we spoke of. And then also perhaps do some improvements to farm here in Maidstone. Um, we need to find someone to... be the knight for my son. Sandal's not knighted. Huh. Do I have any knights at my... No, they all seem to be just really good swordsmen. Or oh, I'm just a... We're just a castle of really good swordsmen. None of us are sirs. Oh, no. I suppose it's a merit thing. Wait, are any of my acclaimed knights knights? Nope. Doesn't seem so. Okay, Sir Titus of a squire. Oh, I can't yet. Keep offering the Blackwood some squires, though. A round, random iron ball man. I, I'll, I'll, I'll duel you. Oh, I, do, I, I won the fight and he's joined the entourage and I can cure him as well because he got instantly ill. Could I be healed, possibly? I have a severe health penalty. Am I missing a maester? I'm going to write down my thoughts. Hopefully de-stressed. No, not enough. Um, I need to have a feast or something. A hunt is cheaper. go out hunting just for just to relax gonna go on a nice relaxing hunt gonna hunt foxes um The ground grows wetter and the air heavier. We ride deep into the wilderness, pedal noise. Suddenly, from out from the green, there is sound against a giant man appears, hulking a layer of dirty clothing. He shouts, Explain yourselves! What are you doing in my marshland? Uh, your marshland? Then show us around. Or, listen to local concerns. What does listen to local concerns? Oh, control. Finally, something to hunt. Oh, God, no. Killing locals? Definitely not. Let's talk this through. I listen to the locals. Right, my castle in Darman uh, crashed down the ground immediately. Okay, okay. Um, what what is it? Your are you practicing witchcraft? Fascinating. What flower is this? Mm, fascinating. What flower is this? After it, we ride. I'd rather not seem to know. Yeah, let's go humble honesty as well. Apparently we haven't done very well on this hunt. Oral. Don't know. I'll give them that. I don't need the fox tail.
There we go. Good, we're no longer super duper stressed. And we're also healed from our wound. So it's a bit of a lad's weekend, it seems so. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Give me a claim on the Lordship of Gains. Good, 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 good. As soon as we're out of debt, we will be dealing with them. Get ourselves another title. Um... Anton's come of age. Skilled tactician, trained fighter, reckless. Okay. Not too bad. Or oh, do you have to be nine to be a scholar? Or is it eight or something? I was trying to murder Endra. Oh yeah, Anton really hasn't finished his squiring yet. The Wandering Master. I'm on my way through the courtroom when, I, uh, when a scuffle at his far end draws my attention. A strapping man is being advanced on my, by my guards, only for the weapons to clatter to the floor with a blink of an eye. This stranger flourishes his sword and salutes me. My lord, he begins as I wave away more guards. A wave away more guards. I find myself without a liege to serve, and judging by your protection here, you could use with my help. From the red robes he mantles, I deduce he is a follower of the Lord of Light. A man of your talents? Absolutely. Absolutely, I'll take this Bravosi man here, Ilo. He's an order member, skilled fighter, sparring blade master. I want to learn your language, sir. Welcome to my court. My son and heir is knighted. Yay! Good for him. Good for you, Anton Ander. Someone's trying to murder Osmond here. T test of strength. I have several cups of spice wine at the meal, and I would normally da now quite merry. Unfortunately, the accursed presence of Mark uh, diagonally opposite me at the table blights my evening. Ah, oh, yes. Hello, Mark. It takes all the mer uh, merest hint. All it takes is the merest hint of a slight from his mouth, and we're leaning across the surface pointing fingers and shouting at the top of our voice. You fool, you lubbocks, you bellows. You couldn't best a child in a test of strength. I could pin your arm to wood right now and... Okay, no, 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 no. Ha. Let's be having you then. You beat Mark with contentious ease. Uh, who's Dylan? Uh, I will keep the windfall, thank you, because that allows me to go to thing. I have a new nickname. I'm no longer Lord Duncan the Strong. I'm now Lord Duncan Strongarm. Oh. <laughs> You're now the strong arm. So I've gone from the strong to the strong arm. Uh, okay, time to gain. Sh Lord Strongarm is going for the title of Gains. Let's go.
Um, oh, I can't cross there. Oh, it's the bloody rivers. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I understand how the freaking more like strong wing. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Or strong talon. Wait, what? Where did my troops go? Why did all my troops just stand down? Strong beak? No, it's got to be wing or talon, I think. Right, we've begun this battle. It's not looking great. And then, boom, House Vance appears. Right, I need to find a good wife for my son and heir. There's no one really taking my catching my eye right now. Ooh, ooh. Yep, correct age. I like that. Correct age and a genius. Perfect. I'll let's have a side of relief and put my writing material aside. I let my eyes wander the length of my small, much thumbed journal. A collection of scribbles that rarely leaves my side. Resting my head, I now see that the morning sunlight has given way to sunset. Just how long have I been belaboring my verbiage? And then I noticed my son, Orphan, looking up at me, intrigued. Now, where was I? Oh, he's become a journaler like me. That's quite cute. Right, he's eight now. Can I get him? No. Anton is like duty personified. Yes, he really is. Rough gemstone. Oh, nice. We'll try and find eventually Justin Strongstreak. We've got to try and find him a title. Uh, Lord Paramount is being attacked by Stepon. Sorry, there is a war in the Riverlands that isn't the one I'm fighting. <laughs> What is this big war in the river? <laughs> okay, so we're on the... Ah, we're on the goody side, but Wayfarer's Rest has also joined against the Tullys. So Liberty War against Orland Tully. So Edmure's dead already. 
I didn't even see him come to throne, but okay. His dwarf son, or 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 lad, or or old, or old, who is a just lazy, greedy, gregarious boy. Okay, we we got. Thank you. We can take the hat. We can take gains. Oh, it's called Strong Keep. Ah, the province is called Gains, and the place is called Strong Keep. Gains. Oh, Jesus, that's freaking fantastic. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Strong keep has to become my military holding. Oh, it's set up as an economic one, though. I'll pay a lot of money to change. I like the idea that it was never called Strong Keep before, but since Duncan Strongarm took it over, it's now been named for him. Right, you can take your... Oh, 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 Justin Strongstrig, we're going to give him as a squire to my eldest son. Oh, and we can give, we can eventually when we become Lord, like we can give gains to Strongstrig. I do have a barony. I've got this one. Can your squire become uh, better than their teacher? I think so. I think it's time to give away Pebble Keep, isn't it? Because I really want Strong Strig to become a legendary fighter. Yeah, that would be cool. But I don't know how we could force that. Give it to your friends. It to your friend's daughter oh yeah i don't think i can i think it has to go to a guy but it might be able to give give it to her father or her husband i'll give it to her father Why? Why? Sorry. Why is the Riverlands sieging me down? What side of the war are we on? Yeah, we're on the good side. Why am I being sieged? Why am I being sieged? Well, I'm glad the rebels have dealt with him. 
Oh, well, Justin has been impressed with the household notes for a very long time. After meeting in person, he's been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Greatness comes in time. Be there to grasp it when it does. Yes. Because currently, I, I, I think I'd have to give him an education to someone else. So I don't Find. How many formidable fighters? Barriston, Barriston Selmy's still alive? Could I destroy some artifacts for one money? Uh, you can do that. I could give, like, Strong Strig to someone to become the ward, you know? Like Oberyn Martell there. Henry Dunkel is a formidable fighter. Hello, Dunkels. Can my brother Fossi Warrior teach squires? I'll have a look. He can he can be the guardian, yes. But I don't think he's a knight, so he can't actually have squires. Yeah, he's not a he's just he's just a, a blade master. Cause I think the fighter trait actually comes from your guardian, not from your who your Night is. Because you get it at 16. And you get your knighthood at 18. Um, anyway, yeah, no, we should find one for our son.
you're a very very decent knight so you're gonna you gotta teach my son it's a honey whiner Blandford is just independent Oh, I've got gray hair now. All right, start increasing the control in strong keep. Arguably, I should move my capital to Lancewood. But I've already done it once at the beginning of this, so... Can't do that. I've learned the Valyrian tongue. Gained the trait likable. Right, I need a new castling. So, if you're right, does destroying an artifact give you money? Let me... Oh, you do gain money from that. Holy moly, I did not know that destroying artifacts gave you money. That is our top tip. Thank you, Mike. Normally end up with loads of crazy stuff. What's the big lady up to? Probably not born. Oh, there's a... No, I can't go to... T I was about to go over that. Like, there's Tarth. Oh, no, Brienne of Tarth was born. Okay, she is married to... Uh, a, and has a son. They actually have a tournament over here, apparently. Oh, boy. So the question is, how do we gain our independence? as well when the time comes. Justin became Zarp of Tree. No, no, no. Both of those are bad. Arbitrary will have to do. Strong streak, please become. Damn. Diligent, patient, arbitrary sucks. Uh, I will build a barracks. Possibly. Oh, I can do trade ports here. Oh, boy. I do trade ports here. Holy moly, I can. Oh, good.
night runner culture sorry what the night runner and hornfoot culture where are you up here there's okay so it's a <laughs> fucking be on the wall they have a night runner there's a night runner culture <laughs> <laughs> What's in the cyberpunk? farmlands is good we're increasing the con we're currently increasing the control of gains right what's it at so that would take it to 60. i think i'm gonna take the 55 gold and then work that back up again i think that's better for me take the gift because again I don't know if we'll be keeping Maidstone I will see it done Plum. <laughs> the Lordship of Speckled Plum and Branston. Curse on top. Mark finally died! So my thinking as well is, I'm thinking what we do is Oh, it's Marianne. Drunken Brawl. I'm at a tavern in Lancewood when my rival enters. All it took was one more accidental spill of her mead over my arm when suddenly Titus was on his feet. Remember his eyes, it's... Hit her in the face, Titus. <laughs> yes! Get my best friend to punch this old woman in the face. Fucking, yeah, go on. Fucking hit her in the face. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of giving Orphan control of Maidstone, leaving him under the Blackwoods, and then we go our own way as uh, the Lord of Three Forks next to them. That's my that's my thinking. That is indeed my thinking. Was that a YouTube or was that a Twitch? If it's a Twitch, GG man, thank you for the follow. Hope you have a wonderful day over you are. Sadly, still no list for uh for the old YouTube. Fucking Mark. At which point your son might make his own cadet house. Exactly. It'd probably be the Anders of Maidstone. Most likely. Which we will then rename to like Tawny or uh, Barn or House. I think it's something bird related. Okay. 
A silver owl. <laughs> oh, because, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see it, I see it. Trust becomes trusting, forgiving, trusting. Trusting works. I trusted you! Kind of annoyed he became arbitrary. Not letting me live my good and true and virtuous night fantasies game. Come on. Oh, he remarried. So there's now a house pebble keep. I want Horset to take over though. Uh, ooh, another child of my dynasty, everybody. Um, it's given me the name Titus to name it after my best friend, which I kind of dig. But if someone grabs a, um, channel point redeem to name my heir, um, they may do so. Antitos. Oh, Anto. Antitos. <laughs> Antitos. Okay. It's pretty good. I'll take it. Arbitrary is far from the worst of it. I mean, arbitrary is like the opposite of just, and, you know, I wasn't able to counter it because technically I'm not just either. Also, Orphan somehow became a sadistic. Sorry, what? How did you become a sadist? Charming, stubborn, temperate sadist. Right. Can I make Lancewood my primary? So I'm now Lord. Oh, wait. I should have got. Wait, wait. Can I for now, actually? Actually, actually, actually. Can I be? <laughs> Lord Duncan Strongarm of Gains! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's freaking fabulous. I'm taking a screenshot of that shit. Oh, dear. By far the best freaking title that we've had in a while. Jesus. Jesus, how good is that? You can not do to lose that kid. Sabrina Glina. Oh, you're from the Ravishment? I think that's actually a really good marriage for Orofinanda. Because he's the one that's going to be left in Maidstone. I stopped working on my spreadsheet just to type Antitus. Well done. Legacy of the Builder. Brand the Builder. Okay. Um, while walking around one of the older parts of the castle, I noticed a single brick laying on the floor, just stopping myself before I stub my toe on it. Strange, I say to myself, as I look for where the book fell from. There, a missing brick just below the window. I'll have to chat with builders about inspecting the rest. As I put the brick back, I can't help to think of Brandon the Builder, the greatest builder to ever live, the legendary architect. 
that built the wall uh, and the war lordship of Winterfell and much more. Legends are to be believed. It makes me want to learn architecture. I strive better for a steward. To learn a thing or two to make me a better person. Um, I could learn a thing or two from him and make my court a county a better place. Yeah, it makes me want to study to be an architect. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, and and Titos wasn't my son. It's my grandson. It was Anton's son. That's great. I will be that boy's guardian. Okay, so 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 often it became a skilled fighter. Turned out pretty decent, I guess. I won't be able to change the capitals around until. Tumbleton culture. House Footley. House Footley of Tumbleton. Education's end. Ward Justin has come of age and time he left my care. He's a f formidable fighter fortune builder. He became a formidable fighter, guys! To see Justin in the battle is to meet the shade, uh, battlefield is to meet the stranger. He enjoys the deadly reputation, loved, respected, and feared throughout the realm as a paragon of Riverland and martial might. Sir Just Justin Strig is alive and well. We need to find him a wife. Good thing you saved him from all the gore and blood of the nest. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. See, he's robust. Go with you. King Aegon the Fourth is being attacked by Stannis. 
Lord Paramount Stannis has risen up against Aegon the, the, the Beautiful of the Iron Throne in a Liberty War. Blackwood Vale is staying neutral, I think. I need to see. I think Blackwood Vale is staying neutral, so we too will stay neutral. Stannis has two daughters that will take over. God, is it just the Stormlands? Oh, Stannis. Oh no, it's the Stormlands and the Iron Isles. And then also Wayfarer's Rest. My allies? Wait, there's two Vances. Has it always been? That wasn't a... Wayfarer's Rest is, used to be Piper, right? Oh no, there's Piper. Wait, is there, has there always been two Vances? There must have been. Never noticed that before. Oh, apparently one of my rival... Oh, Damon Page was killed in the war. It seems. Dispute. Oh, Spoken Parliament gets Blacksmith's Guild. Merchant's Guild. Uh, let's see if we can get Cooperative Guilds. We did. In Speckle Plum, which is the place that we earn no money from. For the next 10 years, at least get farms and fields there. she died from her wounds. Dulcia, my flamboyant trickster daughter that I completely forgot existed. 
Who could we marry you to that is of use? Could marry you back into the Blackwoods. Could be useful. Anyone else? Thank you for using your Bezos bucks for 21 months. You have zero, I have zero oh. audio. I'm in the tattoo studio. He he. Oh God. Is, is she getting fruity? Is she getting more fruit? Is the, is the fruit fruitive coming? I'm guessing so. Uh, it's Tyrell. It's old town. Maybe we match with Lily marry her. Just so we got more Anders. Inheritable. If you, <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. If you're asking if it's the fruit, then yes. Fruit. House Anders started somewhere around the Trident. Any particular goals? Yes, we started in Maidstone, which is in Blackwood Vale. Particular goals is uh kind of. No, at the moment we have two, which was to become like a bit of a, a, a an arena uh, champion, which hasn't really worked. But now we're trying to uh, unite the three forks and come out from under Blackwood Vale, who we've been a staunch ally of, might I add. And... <laughs> We are, so we started here in Maidstone, and now we've been slowly taking over this area. We've got Braston, we're going to beat up House Chambers, and then we're going to become the Duke over here in Three Forks. Going to switch, um, give Maidstone to our second son, keep him under the law, the Blackwood Vale, and then come back. Becoming an arena champion when the mod saw Gregor said, what about second Gregor? <laughs> Kind of, because we're now called Lord... We became Lord Duncan the Strong, and then we became Lord Duncan Strongarm, and then we took an area called Gaines, which has Strong Keep, so now we're the Lord Duncan Strongarm of Gaines. It is fantastic. But yeah, currently we're just kind of... Um Uh oh, yeah, no, we can't do that because that's... Gotta wait for the big wall to end first. Just to be clear, there's a certain Lord uh, Radan in the mod somewhere who's also a Herculean giant. Awesome. Um, miracle tortoise. Actually, let's tick on the foresters. How did they How did they fare after... Oh, oh, okay, no, they're still there. <laughs> Lord Roderick the Smelly! Gregor the Good was... F accidentally felled. Yes, accidentally felled by our White Hill. Are you st are you shitting me now? Um. But uh, Roderick, Roderick and Asher are alive, but the others aren't. Asher is married off and has kids. Gregor and Medgar, and then Roderick the Smelly also has Benchcott and Frin. Who's your man who know who's known as the tall? I don't think we've got anyone called the tall. Oh, we can train for a tournament. I am wounded. Every damn time. Every damn time. Isn't there a guy in Duncan in a goat or like Duncan the Tall? Oh, Duncan the Tall. Yes, um, Duncan the Tall is the is uh, the tailor Duncan Egg, um, which they're making a show of. I think right. That's kind of one of the ones that they're doing now, but it's got a really shit name. Isn't it called like the Fairest Knight of Westeros or something? The TV, the fucking TV show that they're making of it.
Honestly, it'd be an incredible arc if there was one White Hill who wanted to end the feud, took the foresters hunting, and then accidentally shot one of them. Oh boy, yeah, that would be. Oh, not even calling it the egg. I know, right? All right, a fire's roar. Drinks have been had. Alessane is calling out uh, for a story. Most first of all, of... let's keep it traditional this time. I think I've told my story enough. Me and my wife. The White Raven. Oh, her nickname is so cool. Yeah, we're a loyal bannerman of the of Blackwood Vale, but we are. I think it's time. Our time has come to spread our wings. Oh, I need a new maester. Wolves are terrorizing Maidstone, my lord. We want to slay the beast. Poachers in the Lord's Wood. Uh, you all seem to be excellent bowmen. Let's get poacher training. I don't mind the poachers, to be fair. Sorry, Tom, I'll, we're, we're hunting wolves. You gotta get back on your butt horse. Uh, this way, we'll head it off. We've got 80%, I don't need more. Peasants. Yeah, we'll aid our peasants. That's fine. No, we failed an 80% chance to get the wood trap the the freaking. We failed to catch the wolf. No way. Couldn't even knight. Uh, couldn't even knight you after all they did for them. That's yeah, true. But then again, Blackwoods believe in the old gods. So, and knighting is few, is a faith of the seven thing. So, it's also for a case of in all of his most recent battles, I've been kind of... not uh fighting directly under him i'm sure i would have got gotten it if i had left it <laughs> i'm one to be aware of confirmation bias but i don't care 80 percent hunt chance means 50 percent true XCOM rules all right um have you slapped the brathians around yet almost done stannis Stannis the Stallion. You tried, sir. Given that you killed the, the guy in the war that you volunteered to help with. True. And that's how I got Aspiring Blade Master. There really hasn't been that many. So Jorah Mormon being... A prime example. That's true. No, I'm of the correct faith. He's just not of the correct faith. Which is why I'm my my head logic is it's not like it's not something he would necessarily be thinking about. He has also knighted all of my sons, so Right, yeah. How's my Where's uh, where's Strong Strig? How are you doing? Do you have kids yet? No, you don't. 
strong streak. We need to give you... Probably we'll give you gains, which will suck because it's probably actually the best holding ish. Second best. So, Orphan's gonna get Maidstone. We're gonna take this. I doubt we're gonna be let go as a vassal. And I don't wanna declare war. So, for RP reasons, I might. Considering myself and Titus are friends, I might say, I might, I might, I might just mod it for the story. What do you guys think? Or, or, or do we have to go? Was Ned a knight? No. Ned was not a knight. Ned, Eddard, Lord Eddard was not a knight. Ned Stark's not a knight. Well, it doesn't show up when they're dead anyway. Maybe, maybe they are in the later start date, not the usurper start date. I know Gregor the Good does. Take some Metal Smith inspiration. But um no, I will let you guys in chat vote. And we won't be doing this until we've got all of the other duchy. RP it. This is if Titos and Dung can live. Betrayal and do it through and okay, do it game. Right. Poll up everybody. Polls up. Right, I should be able to declare war on you. Not even gonna I'm not even going to ask for allies to come in this time. It's one. Wandering Hedge Knight. Let's see what you're like. Mm, pretty crap. I wish him safe travels. Not going to vote because I've not been around long enough to really appreciate the context. So... I, I'll explain, actually. It's, it's a good way, way to do it. So currently, we started as Maidstone. We went with the background that we rose up as a steward. So we were uh, the House of Blackwood Vale's steward. We were given the title of the Lord of Maidstone. We married uh, Lady Alisane uh, Blackwood, who is Titus, uh, is sister. And since then, we've been fighting battle after battle as their bannerman. Uh, it, we've also, in the same time, been expanding into the lands of the Three Forks. My proposal is that I'm going to become the Lord of Three Forks, uh, which requires me to be independent of Blackwood Vale. I'm going to put one of my sons, my second son, in charge of Maidstone. Hopefully he'll become a cadet house and he'll stay under Black Blackwood Vale. We'll let them be their own thing. We move on out. I, I personally killed um, a great enemy of the Blackwoods. I saved them by raising my own banners uh, in war on multiple occasions. He's my friend. How is the heir of the Blackwoods looking? How is the heir of uh, the Blackwoods looking? He's Biden of Ramsfoot. He is an uncouth, skilled fire fighter and an intricate web weaver. Anton became a journalist. Let's influence his personality. Try and make him diligent. 
And Titus, sorry. And have him study Valyrian as well. Hey, he gained diligent. Good. RP it if Titus lives. Okay, everybody, I will RP it. Hey, Gaming Green. Thank you for the tier one sub for 11 months. Westeros has been good. Almost a year as well. Thank you so much for your continued support. Absolutely wonderful of you. Cheers. Child of my dynasty. Oh, Dulcia. Uh, would anyone like to name Dulcia's kid? If so, there's Channel Point Redeems available. Luca Moore is a nice name, though. Mikey, what would you like to name them? Gaming Brain, you can have the next kid that's born. Chat, don't let me forget. And Gaming Brain can have the name after that. Oh, no, that was a hydration. Huh. Roderick. Uh, a good old God's name in honor of the Blackwoods. Okay. There you go. You grow strong and wise. Oh, I need a new Castellan. I'll take this pond mill guy because I need that lifestyle XP. Right, battle commence. Let's check the details and let's check how my knights did. Justin, 19 kills. Ilo, 27. Just sure that strong, strong, strong strict name maimed someone, did they? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 Titus just declared war on our lord. Oh, Titus just declared war. Oh, nice brigadier, thank you. Titus just declared war on. The tally is. Jesus. Don't think it's uh, worth that much to me. Okay. I think this might be how we RP it. In a moment. We use this war as like the, the story. But sorry. Uh, Prince Aelor of Dragonstone is in this? Oh, wow. Right, we finished with Lucamore. Done, done. Okay, friends, you know what? I'm going to leave the stream right here. The Black Wards become Lord Paramount's of the Rivalents. That could be cool. I don't think that's what will happen in a Liberty War. I think this, I think uh, all on here will be deposed for his kid. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to end today here. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more of this. So... Join us for our normal stream time tomorrow where we'll be continuing this. I'm going to quickly edit the save and we're going to do the setup for the story as per how it will cut out be the outcome after this war. So 
uh, I will see you guys around. I've been Midge Man. Hope you've all enjoyed this first uh, streamed episode of House Ander. Uh, I look forward to the next one. It's going to be so cool. I'll see you all there. Bye bye for now. Oh, and if you're watching on Twitch, we're going to go raid someone. Um, so do stick around for that. We're going to go see our good friend Lionheart, who's playing the Game of Thrones mod for Bannerlord right now. Um, so I will see you all around. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And ciao for now. If you're missing my content as well, go check out uh, YouTube stuff. Uh, 